Hello all my fellow guitar players out there. Today I have myself another bass video. But this is a special bass video because this is a custom Fender built bass. I bought the body, the pick guard, and the neck all separate to make the ideal bass that I wanted. Now, typically, I lately, I'm, I'm not care for the choice of pick guard or a rosewood puffer neck or you know I, I i prefer my maple necks and a lot of times the configurations that fender has uh when you buy a stock i'm not all that happy with and then i end up wanting to modify and this can get expensive because you got to buy on top of the stock and everything and you know swap things out and everything so in a scenario like this i like to go to a wonderful place called the stratosphere on ebay now, Shadows on eBay, if you're not familiar with them, they have, uh, they'll sell, they'll take a, a completed guitar and they'll strip it and they'll have, just sell it with like the neck and the tuners and, or, and the body and they'll call that loaded. Uh, and then they'll take the body with all the electronics and hardware and sell that separate and they'll call that loaded as well. Or they'll sell it stripped or right, with no tuners and then you can modify it and build your ideal strat and save yourself a lot of money. In fact, if you do it to build a complete guitar through them and just string up yourself and everything, you could actually pay less money than it would cost to buy it because of all the COVID inflations. Because they really are kind of like selling it for what the pre-COVID uh, inflations were. So uh, you can save yourself an, like an average of three, $400 on like the American ones and everything. And in this unique situation, I wanted a P and J bass. So basically, I wanted a P bass, but I wanted to have the P bass pickup and the jazz in the bridge because that's one of my. I, it looks too bare here, having nothing, you know. And I and I also love the sound of a jazz in the bridge position. So it's the best of both worlds, of a P bass and a jazz bass. The other thing is, I like having the input jack on the bottom. I like I, that; just feels a little more, you know, modern for me. So I like that as well. Now, the body I bought for six fifty, but it had the black pickguard, and of course, the performer comes with a rosewood fingerboard, and it's a pale maple for the neck and the headstock, and I don't like pale maple. Looks too ghostly, it's not for me, you know. So, I had to figure out what neck I wanted to get. So, I went with a, a Mexican neck. So, the body's an American body, and I went and got a Mexican neck. The Player Plus series was ideal for me because they tint the maple and make it look absolutely gorgeous. And they roll the edges, it is a flatter radius of 12. I didn't bother to readjust my saddle. I kept them at 9.5. It really doesn't bother me. I don't even notice it. I have a, It's a different vibe to me in playing bass versus a, a guitar. With a guitar, it would probably drive me nuts. Uh, but honestly, the 9.5 inch radius on a 12 inch radius fingerboard is fine by me. So, uh, and then the pick guard. The pick guard I had to do a modification because this is an uncommon uh, to get these pick guards for a P and J style uh, P bass, so the holes are aligned a little differently to have the input jack, and I had to drill to make the hole a little more over a little bit more so that I could fit the tometer back in. So that little modification got a little bit sketchy here because uh, these things are a little more durable than you would think. But they still can crack very easily when you're trying to drill. So that being said, and you know, there's a little bit of a mark right here that you can see that um, where there's a gap and everything. But it's very unnoticeable. And if it doesn't bother someone like me, it's just really OCD. And it can't be that bad. So that being said, the neck I got for about 360 and all in all, my total investment at the pick guard and everything was about 1100 I believe. Which, if you were to buy it stock with a 
performer uh, bass and everything with a rosewood fingerboard and that pale maple, you know, it would cost you 1500 right there, plus that 360 for the neck. Or actually, uh, you, you, the next bought separately would be 400. You would have to do uh, some lubrication, possible filing at the nut. Get your tuners, which would be another like, you know, 50, 100 on top of that. Then a pick guard is like, with like 50, you know. So, I mean, you're talking, you're getting closer to like two grand, you know, uh, to get your ideal base, which is why it is wonderful to purchase these things individual on the stratosphere. And in the end, 1100, man, I saved myself 400 off of what the performer would have been. And then because I didn't care about the neck carb in the back, I, I'm a traditionalist, it doesn't bother me. The neck carb is just an added bonus. And I didn't need the active electronics and everything because I like passive bases. The Obvious vibe I was going for is uh, something that would match my uh, Fender American Ultra and Arctic Pearl. Uh, but with that, it's like a metallic uh, white finish, just a flat white paint job, which I prefer anyway on a Fender instrument. And then, of course, uh, you know, you don't have the active EQ controls, but again, I prefer a passive bass. So, you know, all in all, that to get like 2199 I think they're at right now for the... Uh, you know, for the American Ultra version of the P bass and everything. So let's listen to this bass and hear how it sounds. Check out what they got, check out some bodies, check out some necks, and build that ideal instrument for you. And uh, this right here, I mean, this is going to be a, 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 my go-to bass. It's definitely going to use in the studio to do my recordings, to add my bass lines to my tracks. This is definitely going to be a go-to favorite. I feel inspired when I look at it. I feel inspired when I pick it up. It feels good. It plays good. It sounds good. So the next time, keep rumbling your rooms, and I'll see you in the next bass video.